Are you having headache after applying the hair mask? When can we see the results? Can we apply the mask on kids? Can we store this? Can teenagers apply this? Today I will answer all these questions. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to make a hair mask which will help in the hair growth, reduce baldness and increase density. So without any further ado, let's start the video. So first you need fresh curry leaves. Make sure that you are washing them properly because the pesticides in it will create a big problem after you apply it on your hair. Next we will need fresh aloe vera leaf. Can you see this yellow texture on it? It is called as aloe. It is a kind of toxic and should not be consumed nor safe to use. It can potentially cause skin irritation. So better to remove that poison. Wash it very well till the yellow liquid is completely gone. I am only going to consider the gel inside of it because whenever I use the green part, I usually face the issues of skin irritation. So I make sure to remove that. Next transfer them in a grinder to make a paste. In this I am going to add 2 capsules of vitamin E. This will add that extra dense to your hair and helps repair damaged hair by nourishing your scalp, reducing hair breakage and improving your hair elasticity and shine. Vitamin E can also help nullify the free radicals produced by UV radiation and pollution, which will protect your scalp and hair cells against the damaging effects of the sun. Now I am going to add 1 spoon of castor oil and 1 spoon of rosemary oil which I made earlier. I already uploaded a detailed video on this. You can find the link in my description box below. This oil will help your hair grow faster, reduces itchiness and dandruff which prevents hair fall. Now grind them into a paste. This mask will help you solve all the issues of hair problems. It will suit to all scalp types, whether it is oily, dry or combination type of scalp. Now transfer the liquid in an applicator. Every time I make a mask, I always transfer it in an applicator to avoid messiness. This has literally saved my time and also helped me to reach every part of the scalp in no time. While I apply, I will answer the questions which I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So the first concern is getting headache. See, if you are facing that issue, then keep the mask for only 20 minutes. And then also if you are facing the issue, then try another mask. But ideally, keeping the mask for 20 minutes won't create any problem. Can we apply this to the kids? Then I would say a big no. Never apply to the kids before they reach teenage. Because their skin is sensitive and the masks we apply at home are kind of strong based. This might react to the sensitive skin of the kids. So the next question is, will there be any side effects? See, this is a natural product. Everything is natural. You need not worry about it. But if you are getting headache, keep the mask for 20 minutes. That will be enough. Next question is, can teenagers use this? Yes, of course. Teenagers can happily use this mask. But one suggestion is, kindly take the guidance of parents so that they can tell you on how to apply this mask properly in a way to get best results. Generally what happens is some teenagers don't understand how much has to be taken. So make sure to take the guidance of parents. Next question is can we store the liquid? So I would say it's better to prepare a fresh one because only then you can utilize the freshness of leaves making it more effective. After you have applied, keep it for 30 minutes and then wash with a mild shampoo. So this is after I washed, dried and styled my hair. You can see that my scalp is also clean. Try to use this mask at least once in a week for 3 months. You'll definitely see the difference in your hair texture, growth and dandruff. Because you know that you are applying all the natural products like curry leaves which contains vitamin C, vitamin B, proteins and antioxidants. All of which contribute to cellular regeneration and promote healthy circulation to the blood vessels in the scalp. These properties help to promote hair growth and skin renewal and boost the overall health of the scalp. The application of the ingredient activates the hair follicles and promotes hair growth. Curry leaves for hair are extremely useful as they are rich source of amino acids. Amino acids present in these leaves help retain hair strength and impart shine to the hair. Aloe vera contains vitamin A, C and E. All three of these vitamins contribute to promoting healthy cell growth and shiny hair. Vitamin B12 and folic acid are also contained in aloe vera gel. Both of these components can keep your hair from falling out. So there is no side effects of this, but there is usually little cause of concern when using aloe vera gel. Some people are allergic to it. Before using aloe vera gel topically, do a patch test. 
Rub a small bit of aloe vera on the inside of your wrist and wait up to 2 hours to see if your skin reacts poorly. This will let you know if you have an aloe sensitivity. If there is no reaction, you are good to go. But if there is, then try to use aloe vera gel from market. The effect may be less compared to real plant but it will work. So guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you liked it. I do upload a lot of videos on Instagram. Kindly take a moment to watch that page as well. I'll mention the link in the description box below. And if you want to know what products are used in the video, you can get the links in the same description box below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It will help me a lot and I believe for you as well. Thanks for watching. We'll meet in the next video. Till then take care and have peace.